Waukee Shaw Planning Commission meeting on February 12th, 2015, beginning at 6.30. I'd like to call the meeting to order and start with the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Madam Clerk, will we begin with the roll call, please? Supervisor Fisher? Here. Ken Mullen? Bob Stigler? Here. Dan Zirkholt? Here. Chairman Merrick? Present. Bob Flanagan? Here. And Madam Clerk, have we met all of the requirements of the Open Meetings Law? Yes, we have. Okay. And we can begin with citizens' comments. West 230 South, 3827 Milky Way Road. Regarding the Five Diamonds request to again amend their site plan and plan of operation, the most recent amendment being only nine months ago, I note that currently the hours of operation are 7 to 10.30. The applicant had asked for and was granted those expanded hours last May. Now the request is to extend the hours another 90 minutes per day to starting at 6 a.m. and going until 11 p.m. I'm opposed to any extension of the hours of operation. The new drawing says that 144 parking spaces have been added. I could only find 98, and only one stall for a disabled person's vehicle. I refer you to Wisconsin's Chapter 346 for handicapped parking rules. The submitted reference is a mound system. I do not believe Five Diamonds has a mound, nor do I believe whatever they have is sized for adding 43,000 square foot building. If there is a new mound planned, I couldn't find any mention of it in the packet materials. The proposed building at nearly 43,000 square feet is a full acre in size. It doesn't compare to the originally proposed structure and the earlier approved smaller structure. That approval is immaterial. The planners report lists several town issues which seem to be more like town ordinances that would prevent this proposal from going forward as presented. Building facades and landscaping requirements are two of them. But I know it refers to permitted uses for P1 zoning. It seems obvious to me that the proposed plans are not consistent with P1 zoning, and that is precisely why the planner brings it up. But perhaps the biggest issue with this proposal is its intrusion into the wetlands. Town Code Section 13.310 requires a building setback of 50 feet and an offset of 20 feet in a P1 district, and Town Code Section 13.210 regarding building locations in general states, every structure shall be at least 30 feet from the Conservancy district line, and goes on to say, filling and or grading activities within 30-foot offset area shall not be allowed. Beyond that, it would seem the county has some issues. While the planner did mention several items in the letter from Alan Barrows from the county, the planner failed to mention any of the uh, of item three in the Barrows letter, which states, quote, the building location does not comply with the wetlands preservation restriction and setback on the subdivision plot. Let's hope the plan commission and town board can honor and obey our laws and at the same time meet the needs of the applicant and the community. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else? I'm reading this for Angie Dansock. Do you want my name and address also? Yes. Okay. Carrie Wolf, S51W25447, Glendale Road, Waukesha. Is that yeah, or were you planning on reading that? Okay. Okay. This is again from Angie Vansock, S51W25375, Glendale Road, Town Waukesha. I am out of town. I ask that the following be read by the town clerk in the citizen comments of the plan commission this evening entered onto the minutes and that the paper copy be given to each attending plan commission and town board member. 
I wonder how history remember the members of the Plan Commission and Town Board. Will it be as stewards of the community, people that honor, respect, and uphold our town ordinances? Or will you set a precedent that will forever haunt legal enforcement of our town zoning code? You, the Plan Commission, Commission, and Town Board are entrusted to uphold state statutes and town ordinances, which includes our town zoning code. The request before you tonight from Five Diamonds asks you to throw away the rule book as well as your common sense and, in my opinion, is an outright assault on our town zoning code. I question how a project comes before you that is out of compliance with so many provisions of our town zoning code. The building Five Diamonds has proposed is larger than the Walmart neighborhood market on Highway 164. The Five Diamonds property is Lot 7 of Deerfield Estates Subdivision. Tom Kellenick developed that seven-lot residential subdivision just a few years ago. The Deerfield Estate Subdivision plat provisions fully protect the wetlands that Tom Kellenick proposes to fill. Our town zoning code protects the wetlands as well. Our town zoning code further protects the wetlands as no grading can be done within the required 30-foot setback from the wetlands. Further, the project does not comply with the landscaping requirements of the town zoning code. The project does not comply with the exterior finish requirements of the town zoning code. The project does not comply with the setback requirements of the town zoning code. The project does not comply with its own subdivision mandates to protect the wetlands. It does ma not matter that the Army Corps of Engineers or DNR have signed off as they have weighed in on only one of many issues. It does matter that you follow the town law. If you do, the project as presented cannot be approved. Sincerely, Angie E. Van Suck. Thank you. Anybody else? 